welcome back to another gameplay video. It has been a very long time since I have uploaded, and I do apologize about that. 2020 has been a roller coaster of a ride, and it's uh, it's been a little hard to have some time to do uh, my airsoft videos and stuff, but... Uh, in the meantime, I have actually been working on another channel where I talk about movies, TVs, and games with my good buddy, Matt. So I would love for you guys to go down in the description below, check out that channel, and before we get into the video, here's a little clip of us talking about the 4K60 and console gaming, and then after that, we'll get right into the gameplay. Hopefully you guys like this, and don't forget to check out my A Drink With Crazy channel. It's fun, we drink beer, we have some good conversations, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Let's get into the preview. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy, and thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Today we're talking about whether or not 4K60 on consoles, or just even in general, is worth it. Is the gaming industry ready for 4K60? Is the or are they hardware ready? Well, is their hardware ready? Are their dev teams ready? Or have we not maxed out 1080? Let's get into that discussion right now. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to go down below and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Keep in mind, we're looking at our analytics right now and only 50% of the people who are checking us out are actually subscribed to the channel. So it would be wonderful if you would go down below and do that. And without any further ado, let's get into the conversation of whether or not the world is ready for 4K60 gaming. See? Thank you all for checking out the channel, and while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner, and the video decided to cut that little catchphrase out of the intro, but never fear, because I would not forget to let everybody know what channel they're watching it has been far too long and i am so sorry 2020 what a roller coaster of a ride huh i'm just waiting for yellowstone to go up at this point but until then let's just watch some gameplay in today's gameplay i'm back at apc outdoor with a bunch of the guys this was months ago um oh my god all the way back in april or something like that i don't remember i don't know there was lockdowns there was the apocalypse anyway we're playing bomb plant our goal is to go up to the three uh orange construction bins or little paint cans paint bins and we have to throw our team color uh, inside that paint bin so uh hopefully you guys enjoy and uh yeah comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the gameplay cool thing here half of this game game oh i'll be in five bucks you can do oh dude we're seriously running like the same build though he's ass i'm catching ricochets that's for goddamn sure straight ahead where My battle buddy for this video was Rostami of RDD Airsoft Works rocking his one jewel MP5 as well, so we could be MP5 buddies. The cool thing about running one jewel is that we are allowed to go full auto, or in the case of what he's done with his, run binary uh, when we want to. Obviously, uh, we don't like to abuse it, but being that we are lo running that low power level, we can use it, which is fun as hell sometimes, especially when you're in a pinch. Um, a lot of other people might have had some range on us, but that being said, our two little one jewel MP5s still contended with the best of them.
There was a hand that went up right there, but I don't think I got that guy. I couldn't confirm it in the footage, so I'm definitely not going to give myself the glory on that one. Jason, are we allowed to take it down off the drum or no? Oh, I just wasn't sure what you had to do. It's been a minute. As you can see, the objective is right in front of me. Well, one of them. It's one of three. And in order to get over here, you have to pull the, uh, um, the top of the paint can off. You've got to pull the lid off, which is very hard if you've ever done that. And then you have to throw your bomb in. Our team color is blue. And then you have to close it back up. Very hard to do. We are not allowed to move it from its location. It has to stay there. And there are a ton of people shooting at me right now. It was very, very difficult to be over in this area. And I kept going back for more punishment. <laughs> He's shooting Wilson. He is, dude. He might not know you're actually there. <laughs> He's just shooting Wilson. Oh, damn. Where? Okay. You guys can hold them off. Bryson's sneaking up the middle. This is attempt number two, and there I go. That one actually hurt quite a bit. I kind of just laid there for about a minute and a half, two minutes before I got up. Oh my God. We've got three people on the left, like two people on the right. Oh, I'm gonna have to, we don't really have a choice. They see me, they see me, they still see me. And there it is. There it is. You would think with as many times as I've been shot playing airsoft over the years, I would learn better tactics. Like, don't keep running in the direction they keep shooting you from. <laughs> He's in the center. He's on the left edge of the palace. Yeah, he sees me. So close, dude. God damn it.
At this point, one of my friendlies was in the large structures over here, which was very helpful because I actually got to the halfway point of the field for the first time. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're trying to get back over uh, to the other uh, side here so that way we can secure a point so we can uh, get that bomb planted. Right side in the middle. Yep. I got brained on that one. BB right to the face. Would have no more head if it were real. And I'm just having a rough go at this game. And I, <laughs> I'm i going to be honest. This was months ago. I did not remember this. I'm, uh, I'm having a little bit of a rough go here, guys. Uh, comment down below and let me know about some of the games that you guys have had a rough go at. Ross, you got one approaching your 12. <laughs> Ross, Big Red's coming at you. He's by the orange bucket, dude. He's by the building by the orange bucket. Reds down. Yeah, dead men don't talk. Ross, we need that orange bucket, correct? We are entering the final seconds for me for this game, but I wanted to say thank you to everybody for checking out this video, and thank you guys so much for being patient and understanding that 2020 gets in the way of literally everything fun that we want to do right now. So do me a favor and go down below and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell if you love Runner Runner Airsoft, and it would be hugely awesome if you guys would go down in the description below and check out a drink with crazy my other channel we do some really fun conversations over there and until next time i look forward to seeing you all right here on runner runner airsoft okay.